Yeah, I'm sure he's never gonna show up again. I'm gonna go out here really quick, actually, because I think there's uh, some chest I can look around for. Maybe we'll get some pull for it. Hey, skill manual, scan enemy. Oh no, we get SP. You don't get um, you don't get full for that. Bum, bum. There might be some more treasure to find. Ah, yes, right here. He's blend in, man. There's the full I need. Bum, bum. Three lemons. There should be like a side quest we can accept soon. Maybe right now. A lot of the side quests in this game are very much fetch quests and I probably won't be messing with them. We'll do some of them, but I'm not gonna promise do on doing all of them. But I'll do like some of them, any any convenient ones. We're gonna we're gonna play the game and like I'll uh, do whatever I feel necessary and whatever I feel like doing. Basically, is the plan. I don't know how he did it, but one of the patients escaped when I was looking. Sorry to bother you with this, but you can find them for me. Of course, we'll keep an eye out for him. Oh, this is a side quest: the missing patient, missing patient. Great, I can't leave my post here, so I really appreciate the help. Oh, side quests aren't marked in this game, are they? No wonder I never do much of them. So we definitely won't be doing much of them. I'll try to do whatever ones I can, but they're not even marked. So we need to go to the sick bay, I think. The sick bay should be a side quest. I can rest, why not? Where is sick bay? This might be the sick bay. Well, I guess I'll stay here and contribute to the effort. I doubt you need much help from me anymore, but if you do, now I'll need help. Thank you. At least the people are marked on the minimap, which is nice, but they don't show you if they're marked. They don't mark them with side quests. It's just like... You, um... You have to talk to people and hope you find them. Hey there, handsome. I'm looking to unlock the next generation of science here. I need 10 insect legs to get things moving. Searching for volunteers for this noble, exciting mission. What do you say? You want to lend a hand? Sure, why not? Wait, why am I saying yes to this? Wonderful, remember now? Ten insect legs, come see me once you got them. I hope I just have them. You remember, right? Ten insect legs? Oh, I don't have them. I was hoping I would have them so I didn't have to go out and look for them. I guess I can try my hand at getting some. Because we only- we don't have much time in- in the recording anyway that I want to go for. Oh, did I never get the anthropology thing? I don't think I did. Maybe I can sell some stuff. Oh, I have three of them. But did I not give you the Eldarian bow? I guess I forgot. Defense seeds. You know what? Yeah, sell the defense seeds. I'm sure I'll get more. Let's see if I can get this skill. Maybe we'll go out hunting for a little bit for these bugs. Buy items. And then this one. No, not this one. It was um this one, I think? Yeah, insect enemies.
teaches etymology. Oh, you can't even use it? Read it to learn the skill. Well, that was a waste. Well, never mind then. I don't want to bother with that then. I'm not going to bother going out and looking for insect legs. Uh... Let me save the game in case I get stuck in cutscenes, because this game has a lot of cutscenes at times. And I think we're ready to move on. I'm just gonna move on the story as much as I can before, like, ten minutes are up. Crew is a bit unsure of themselves, but now they're working together in perfect harmony. Take a look around inside the base. Everyone's giving 110% now. Oh, do I, do I talk to you to know, let them know if I'm ready? Ah, uh, FaZe, there you are. What is it, Rose? Gegen was asking for you to come and see him. The commander? Understood. I'll go see him at once. Thanks, Rose. We just talked to the commander. But that was the captain. I don't know who the commander is. If I'm gonna be a captain, we better whip this base into shape first. Gonna need all the space I can get. Next generation of space captains counting on me. Stick out all your fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have to enter the communication rooms and talk to the commander, because that was the captain. This way might be the communication room? Oh, I talked to you already. You're the one that, like, asks if I need help. What's in here? You should leave him be for now. I finally got him to sleep. Okay. Guy? Is there something you want, Supreme Commander Gigan? Yeah, I was wondering if I can ask you to leave your soul with us here at the base. My soul? Sure, of course. I hope you find it useful. Here's the control unit. Thank you. We'll take good care of it. Alright. I guess that's all I had to do. Oh, and then Commander Graffin. Or Captain Graffin. I've got new instructions for you. Come. Sir. They repaired the Kalnas. Wow, it was trashed. And they fixed it in such a short time. Incredible. So this is Eldarian technology. This way. The design concept behind the warp drives we use in our ships actually comes from Eldar. The Eldarians' technology far surpasses our own. They have a warp technique employing subspace bubbles, one we couldn't implement. We had to use wormholes. What you see before you now are the fruits of that technology made real. The hull may not have changed much, but under the hood, she's like a ship from several centuries in our future. Amazing! Mr. Maverick, from this moment on, you're the captain of the new Kalnas. Me? A captain? You've handled your duties thus far admirably. I recommended you myself. The official order should arrive soon. But... Now, let me brief you on your mission. The new duties of SRF-003 Kalnas and her crew are as follows. You will investigate unexplored planets within warp range, as well as participate in the search for the lost Aquila. 
Miss Sionji, you'll be Mr. Maverick's first officer. Support him well. Sir! Faye Shifa Boleth of Planet Eldar. You will also be a part of the mission. Me too? Sir? Oh? I thought the three of you were already a team. Yes, sir. We are indeed a team. I happily accept your order, sir. Listen, Mr. Maverick, I know exactly what you want to say. But since the warp incident, the SRF has been severely crippled. All the other officers of Captain Class are injured and unable to handle the duties. I, too, have my hands full overseeing this base. Unfortunately, I can't even provide you with an adequate crew. This will be a difficult mission carried out by a select few. And right now, you're the only one capable of leading it. How about it, son? Do you accept? Uh, I'm only standing here today because of a string of lucky coincidences. I know I didn't earn this through my own ability. Raimi, FaZe, I'll be counting on the two of you. Of course. I'll do whatever I can to help, Edge. Together, we can do this. I stand with Raimi, Edge. I promise to be of service. I still have so much to learn from you, after all. I don't think you have anything to learn from me, but... Thank you, Raimi, FaZe. I am honored to accept the position of Kalnas Captain, sir. Very good. You may launch whenever your preparations are complete. I pray for your journey success. Sir! This is honestly a good spot to stop because Edge is now the captain. It's ready. We're ready to like take off and everything. This is a good like stopping point. I better give you this before I forget Edge. Got a monster jewel. It's called a monster jewel. You imbue it with data from a monster. We'll need to collect, collect ample data from a monster beforehand, however. You can see all the data you've collected on monsters under the monster section of your collection menu. Every time you defeat the monster, you raise your knowledge on the monster. Once your knowledge reaches 100%, you can imbue a monster jewel with data. Interesting. The Eldarian's technology is just starting, isn't it? If only they'd installed a fully equipped bath I can use, then I'd have nothing to complain about. Let me go really quickly to the item creation thing, and then we'll wrap up. Hey, Welch! Yes, sir! Here I am, blooming as a beautiful flower. Keep the garden shares away or I'll slap ya. You've already been contacted, right? This is our new Aldarian crewman, FaZe. Wh what? You're just gonna ignore my joke? Why did you develop such advanced ignoring skills? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Faye Shifa Beleth, an Eldarian. Look at this! Even the rookie is completely unfazed! You kids! I'll be damned! You could try to be at least slightly businesslike when you meet new people, Welch. What? What is it? <laughs> it's a little late to be surprised, pal! Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, you're one of these aliens, huh? Mm hmm. You don't look very different from us at all. I thought you'd be all like, you know... Give me the tasty human meat! I... I'm sorry, FaZe. She means well, I think. No, it's all right. I'm quite used to false preconceptions. How did she do that? Oh, I'm just kidding. Sorry, fake. Wait, fade was it? Anyway, fail. It's phase. Right, right, fame. So about that monster? Truth is, those things are actually Earthlings, you know. Earthlings? After just two more molting seasons, Edge will be turning into one of those. So be careful you don't get eaten, okay? Ta-ta for now. Come on, Welch! Are you trying to traumatize him? She's trying to traumatize all of us, let's be real. Uh, just so you know, that's her idea of a joke, okay? Uh, of course, I understand. 
<laughs> oh my word, dude. Welch. Welch in this game is truly cursed. Let me uh, see if I can go to the Earthfall Cave before leaving really quickly. Can I, like... This way. Before leaving, we can do a quick little private action. Northernmost chamber of the Erdfall Cave, which is kind of a far walk, but it should be fine. I want to knock this out, and then we can just go straight to the next planet next stream. Or not, not next stream, but next, like, next time I play this, we can go uh, to the next, um... We can go to the next planet and move on the story. Maybe I'll go out of my way to get those insect legs, too. I don't know, though. It doesn't look like we'll be doing much side quests because they're not even marked. And I'm gonna be honest, every time I play this game, I hardly ever do the side quests. And now I know why. <laughs> because they are not marked. But honestly, the side quests are kind of boring anyway. They're like fetch quests, like, hey, get me this item. There are some standout quests. There are some quests that are like, oh, the dark rings. We will give it. We will be getting the rings. That will be doing. There are some side quests that are like relevant to the game, somewhat. But not many. There are a few things that are like, hey, we should do this, and a few optional stuff to do. Those will do, but the fetch quests probably not. Probably only the ones we come across and that are convenient to me. I'm assuming I go to this chamber. Everybody got that? Oh yeah, I see, uh, I saw the exclamation mark. I might as well kill you and see if I get, like, an insect leg or something. Oh, my bonus boy, it's fine. We're, I'm gonna end my recording soon anyway, and it would have reset. It doesn't really matter. It's probably better that it happened, because it would have it would have reset anyway. What I don't understand is the whole anthropology skill on the insects. I don't know why I can't use that, but whatever. Drop rates are annoying to rely on anyway. Here we go. Look at this edge. These flowers are shining. They're so strange, but so beautiful. I guess there really is more to this planet than just weird monsters. It has such beautiful planet life, huh? What's wrong, Edge? Why are you staring at me like that? Yeah, you're right. Really beautiful. Huh? Yeah. Huh? What are you? You're both so beautiful. You're really beautiful, Raimi. Oh my word, that face is so cursed. Me? Ed, you're such a joker. I'm not joking. You looked so beautiful admiring those flowers. What are you? Are you nuts? Are you trying to flatter me or something? Why would I need to flatter you? Anyway, what's the problem? You're all flushed. There's no problem. I'm just a little tired, okay? Oh, you are? Oh, you can really be such a dummy sometimes, Edge. It's too much for a girl to take. Are you grinning? What? No, it's just your imagination. All right, all right. You don't need to be so empathetic about it. Now my heart's all racing, huh? Oh my word. I don't think I've ever saw that private action before. That's incre- that's entirely new to me. Faster to go this way, I think. Only just go back to the exploration base. And this actually works because this game had so much cutscenes in the beginning. This will make rendering a lot easier. If the recording's a little longer than two hours. That's fine. Break my bonus board all you want. Wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's. Up, 
Bom, bom. Such a far way back. No wonder I haven't seen that private action. Because the game does not tell you to go to Erdfall Cave, and it's a far it's a far walk, especially when you have to like spam the square button. We'll be doing like the private actions. I don't know if I'm gonna see every single private action in the game, but I'll be trying to watch some of them. Even though like the the characters in this game aren't great. However, because character endings and stuff, uh, we'll see what happens when I get character endings. I still want to um like, I still want to... I don't want to necessarily, like, rush the game. I still want to show off a little bit of the game and do as much as possible. I'm not going to do, like, everything, but I still want to do a little bit in this game. And I don't want to necessarily speed run it. Because people have been waiting for this playthrough, you know? Like, I don't want to rush it just because, like, oh, I don't like the game very much. I mean, I, I still enjoy the game. I wouldn't be playing it. I enjoy it enough to do a playthrough of it. And also, like I said, the combat is amazingly fun. But I still wanna, I still wanna give people a decent enough playthrough that does at least some of the content and sees some of the scenes and stuff, so you know how it is. Yeah, it's gonna be it for today. Good two hours of Star Ocean 4. Those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed. When we come back, we will move on with the game and go to the next planet and see where the game goes from there. Uh, yeah, so Star Ocean 4. It'll, it'll be going up, uh, on YouTube and, you know, it, it might not go up every single time because I'm... I chose to record this because, um, you know, I figured I want to stream some other stuff. So I figured record this, have it going, but I'll try to, I mean, I'm in my summer break, so I should be able to get a good bit of it in. So, you know, thanks for watching. See you all next time.